Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Today is Friday, the first day of April 2022. This is the voice of Turkey's English language transmission broadcasting from Ankara in the 19 meter band between 12.30 and 13.30 UTC on 15450 kilohertz to Europe. You can listen to us over the Turksat 3A and 4A satellites and on the internet at www.trt.net.tr through the Voice of Turkey link. Our email address is englishdesk at trt.net.tr. Following the news and the review of the Turkish press, the Voice of Turkey will present our feature programs and some music. First, the news. The Turkish president is hopeful that the leaders of Russia and Ukraine could hold a summit in Istanbul to help bring an end to the war between the two countries, he said on Friday. We'll be very happy if we could realize the decision to turn this negative course of events into a positive one with the two leaders, Recep Tayyip Erdogan told reporters in Istanbul. In a breakthrough, Russian and Ukrainian delegations met for peace talks in Istanbul on March 29th as the war entered its second month with casualties piling up on both sides. During the talks, Ukrainian officials signaled readiness to negotiate a neutral status, a key Russian demand, but demanded security guarantees for their country. Russia, meanwhile, pledged to significantly decrease its military activities toward the Ukrainian cities of Kiev and Cherniv to build up trust for future negotiations. Ukraine wants to see countries, including Turkey, as guarantors in deal with Russia, a Ukrainian negotiator said after the talks. On drifting sea mines in the Black Sea region, Erdogan said, as of now there is no problem, but we are not going to let our guard down. At least two such mines have been defused by Turkish authorities so far. Another was defused by the country's neighbor Bulgaria, which also has a shore to the Black Sea. The Russian war against Ukraine, which started on February 24th, has been met with international outrage with the European Union, US and UK, among others, implementing tough financial sanctions on Moscow. The EU on Friday denounced Moscow's decision to place travel restrictions on European nationals, a move in retaliation over EU sanctions in response to Russia's war on Ukraine. The EU deplores the Russian authorities' decision to impose a travel ban on a number of EU nationals in retaliation for EU sanctions linked to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said on Twitter. The EU continues to demand that Russia ceases the aggression against Ukraine, he added. Borrell's statement came after Russia on Thursday expanded its reciprocal sanctions against the European Union and its member states, barring more government officials, lawmakers and public and media figures from entering Russia. As the war on Ukraine in Ukraine enters its 37th day, 153 children have died as a result of Russian attacks, the Ukrainian chief prosecutor's office said on Friday. Another 245 children were wounded by Russian forces, 859 education facilities damaged and 83 completely razed to the ground, the office said in a statement. The Russia-Ukraine war, which started on February 24th, has been met with international outrage. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Turkey on Friday for its readiness to be a guarantor of his country's security. Ukraine wants Turkey, Germany and the members of UN Security Council to act as guarantors in any potential peace deal, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu said Thursday. Zelensky said he spoke with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan by phone and discussed the peace talks that took place Tuesday in Istanbul where the Russian and Ukrainian delegations met. He made the statements on Telegram on the 36th day of the war. We endured longer than the enemy told. They told it would only take three to five days to capture our country, he added. The latest talks in Istanbul were seen as a breakthrough in the push to halt hostilities that, according to the latest UN figures, have claimed the lives of at least 1,232 civilians and left 1,935 others injured. More than four million Ukrainians have also fled to other countries with millions more internally displaced, according to UN Refugee Agency.
The news continues on the English language broadcast of the Voice of Turkey. Russia's defense ministry announced Thursday that it will open a humanitarian corridor Friday morning from the Ukrainian city of Mariupol to Zaporozhye, following a personal request from French President Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to President Vladimir Putin. The Russian armed forces will reopen a humanitarian corridor from Mariupol to Zaporozhye on April the 1st from 10 a.m. Moscow time, said Colonel General Mikhail Mizensev, director of the Russian National Center for Defense Management. Noting that humanitarian corridors are opened daily in the direction of Ukraine's capital Kiev, Chernihiv, Sumy, Kharkiv and Mariupol, Mizintsev said the Russian army was complying with a ceasefire at these points. He further noted that in the 24 hours more than 18,000 people, including 3,400 children, were evacuated from Russia from dangerous regions of Ukraine to Russia from dangerous regions of Ukraine. A total of 500 27,607 people have been evacuated since the start of the special military operation, including 108,219 children, he said, adding that 115,347 people have been rescued from Mariupol via humanitarian corridors, including 3,235 in the last 24 hours. Euro area and EU consumer inflation refreshed its record, hitting 7.5% in March, according to provisional Eurostat data released on Friday. The figure, much above than market forecast, was up from 5.9% in February, the statistical office of the EU said in its report. In February, the main driver behind the high inflation rate was energy, which is expected to hit the highest annual rate in March at 44.7%. This was followed by food, alcohol and tobacco on energy, industrial goods and services. On a monthly basis, Eurozone inflation is projected to come in at 2.5% in March. Eurostat refers, refers to inflation as the change in the price level of consumer goods and services during a given period. And that was the news brought to you by The Voice of Turkey.